Hi guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm Rohit and here's your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get the cube root of a number in less than three seconds. Yes, you have heard it right, which means at the end of this video, you will be able to obtain the cube root of a perfect cube in just about three seconds. Now this can be done in two simple steps. And we'll take up a few examples to understand this. But before we do that, let us understand the units place pattern when it comes to cubes of some numbers. Now here I've listed down the cubes of the first 20 natural numbers, right? We have got 1 to 20 along with their cubes. Now try to observe the units place pattern for these cubes here. For example, when you look at 64 and 2744. These are the numbers that end in 4, which means the units place in these numbers is 4. Now, the point to be noted is when a cube ends in 4, its cube root will also end in 4, right? 64 is a cube. The cube root of 64 is 4. 2744 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 2744 is 14. So, the point to be noted is when a number ends in 4, its cube root also ends in 4. Likewise, we can see that when a number ends in 5, its cube root ends in 5. When a number ends in 6, the cube root ends in 6. And also for 9, when a number ends in 9, the cube root ends in 9. Same is the case with 729, right? This is the number that ends in 9. Its cube root ends in 9. Look at 1. This is a single digit number, right? We can say it ends in 1. What is the cube root? It is 1. Or for that matter, 1, double, 3, 1. This is a number that ends in 1 or its unit place is 1. So what will be the unit space of its cube root? The same number, 1. And same is the case with zeros, right? When a number ends in 0, we can say that its cube root also ends in 0. So very important point here that when a number ends in 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 or 0, its cube root also ends with the same digit. The only change that we see here is in case of 2, 3, 7 and 8. Right? Now, here again, it's very easy to understand the pattern. Look at this. The number ends in 8. Its cube root ends in 2. But when the number ends in 2, the cube root ends in 8. So, 2 and 8 is like a pair. Right? If the number ends in 2, the cube root ends in 8. And if the number ends in 8, the cube root ends in 2. And same goes with the other pair here, which is 3 and 7. When a number ends in 7, the cube root ends in 3. And when number ends in 3, the cube root ends in 7. So very easy to follow this pattern of unit space when it comes to cubes, right? When number ends in 2, the cube root ends in 8 and vice versa. Same is the case with 3 and 7. If a number ends in 3, the cube root ends in 7. The number ends in 7, the cube root ends in 3. For all the remaining digits, it remains the same. Now that we have learned this unit space pattern, let us solve a few questions here where we need to get the cube root of the given numbers. Let me make a point clear here that the given numbers are all perfect cubes and we are trying to find the cube root of these values here. Look at the first question here. We need to get the cube root of 250047. Now, like I've mentioned earlier, this can be done in two simple steps. The first step here is to obtain the unit space of the answer. Now, you, if you see 250047 is a number that ends in 7. We have already learned that if a number ends in 7, its cube root has to end in 3. So we can say that the answer here ends in 3. So that's the first step, get the unit space. Now, what is the second step? Forget about the last three digits, right? Rule out the last three digits. Look at the remaining part of the question, 250. What is the highest cube less than 250? See, these are some of the cubes that we have listed here, right? What is the highest cube less than 250? 343 is more than 250. Less than 250. Highest cube less than 250 is 216, right? Perfect cube, 216 and it is less than 250. 216 is what cube? It is 6 cube. So the tenth place of the answer has to be 6. So we can conclude that the cube root of 250047 is 63. So two very simple steps. The first step is to obtain the unit space based on the pattern that we have learned. In the second step, we try to cancel or leave the last three digits. Look at the remaining part of the answer and find out the cube root of the highest cube less than the remaining part. Let us understand this with a few more examples. Look at this, 157464, six digit number here and we are required to get the cube root. What do you see? The number here ends in 4. We know that if a number ends in 4, its cube root ends in 4. First step is done. Leave the last three digits. What is the highest cube less than 157? Less than 157, the highest cube is 125, which is 5 cube. So the answer for the second one here is 54. 
The next question, double seven, eight, six, double eight. The number ends in eight. We know that if a number ends in eight, its cube root should end in two, right? From the pattern that we have discussed here. And then leave the last three digits. What is the highest cube less than 778? 729, right? Now these are some of the numbers or figures which you need to learn by heart, right? One to 10 cubes. So highest cube less than 778 is 729, which is nine cube. So nine comes in the tenth place and 92 is the answer. Look at the last one here, 19683. This time we have a five digit number. But how does it matter? The procedure remains the same. Number ends in three, cube root should end in seven. Leave the last three digits. Now we are left with a two digit number, right? In all the earlier questions, we had left with, we are left with three digit numbers. This time we have a two digit number. But like I said, the procedure remains same. Highest cube less than 19 is eight and eight is two cube or the cube root of eight is two. So the answer for this last one here would be 27. So this is how you can get the cube root of perfect cubes in two very simple steps which would take just about three seconds and let me draw your attention to a very important point before we close this video here that is this technique is applicable only if the given number is a perfect cube if it is not a perfect cube then there is another procedure that we need to follow to get an approximate answer the approximate cube root of the given number so with this we come to the end of this session thank you all for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here to get more such videos with techniques to solve questions from quantitative aptitude. In this video, we shall discuss about average. Well, I'm sure all of you know how to calculate the average of the given value. Today, I'm going to take you through the difference between the usage of has, have.